You may be wondering, why is everyone leaving Toronto to see an eclipse on Monday, April 8th? Do I really have to go all the way to Hamilton? The short answer is yes. If it's clear, you should go. I'm University of Toronto physics professor Jason Harlow, and in this video, I'll explain why. A solar eclipse happens when the moon's shadow falls on the Earth. The moon and Earth are pretty far apart compared to their sizes, so the orbits have to be perfectly aligned in order for the moon's shadow to fall directly on the Earth. A partial solar eclipse is when the moon's disk is covering only part of the sun. It's dangerous to look directly at a partial solar eclipse without proper eye protection for the exact same reason that it's dangerous to look directly at the sun at any time. Direct sunlight can damage your retinas. The American Astronomical Society has a great web page with a list of suppliers of safe filters and viewers in the link below. I got these eclipse glasses for $3 online. <laughs> Here in Toronto, Monday, April 8th, from 2 o'clock to 4.30, there will be a partial solar eclipse. At its maximum, around 3.20, 99.91% of the sun's surface will be covered by the moon, which is a lot, and it will get extremely dark outside for about 10 or 20 minutes, right around 3.20, but it will never get dark like night, the stars won't come out, and it will never be safe to look at the sun without eye protection. That's because Toronto is not in the path of totality for this particular eclipse. Here's a map showing the path of totality as it crosses Mexico and the United States on April 8th, 2024. If we zoom in, we can see that due to bad luck, the path of totality just misses Toronto. The center passes right over Buffalo. And if you go to Burlington or Hamilton, you will see a total solar eclipse. The closer you get to this center line, the longer the total part of the eclipse lasts, up to a maximum of 3 minutes and 47 seconds right in Buffalo. At the Ron Joyce Stadium in McMaster University in Hamilton, the moon's disk will completely cover the sun at 3.18 p.m. And the sun will stay completely blocked out for 1 minute and 35 seconds. If it's clear, you will be able to safely look up at the sun during this minute and a half and see something like this. It's a very black central disk surrounded by shimmering rays which are the corona of the sun. The stars will be visible at this time, including Pegasus to the right and Orion to the left. You will also see a line of planets with Mercury and Jupiter above the sun and Venus, Saturn and Mars below it. Yes, you should be able to see the stars at 3.18 in the afternoon. Just be careful to look away when the sun returns at 3.19. So that's it. If it's cloudy on that day, there's really no point in leaving Toronto as Hamilton will have about the same experience as Toronto. It will get noticeably darker around 3.20 for a while. But if it's clear, this is an astronomical event that you won't want to miss. I put a link below to McMaster's Eclipse Viewing Party that you can sign up for. There is a GO train from Union Station to Hamilton that takes just over an hour to go to Hamilton and costs less than $15 each way. But you might want to book your tickets ahead of time. The next time you can expect a total solar eclipse in Ontario is the year 2106. And the nearest that one gets to Toronto is Sault Ste. Marie, so this really is a once-in-a-lifetime event.